Hello, everyone, and welcome back to part three of the Microsoft. It's a pre discussion. Pre discussion. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is a pre discussion uh, for the Microsoft press conference that will be at E3 oh. 2018, which is my happiest, my, my, my favorite time of the year. Um, so, Microsoft's um, their conference is going to be on Sunday, June 10th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. So, mm-hmm. you know, midday ask. So that actually isn't too bad overall. But uh, today we have Jared and we have Devin with us today. And Matthew will be joining us here in a little mm-hmm. bit. He's coming back from seeing a movie. So, yeah. Say hi, everyone. Yeah. Hello, Hello everyone. Worth it. Um, <laughs> hey. hey, everyone. <laughs> wow. Uh, you, you, you know what, Jared? Just what? Yeah. Get out of the studio right now. I'm sorry, dude. I like being fake. Um, yeah, we, went, no, we, went fine, out, right? we went out an actual studio. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. Is... yeah. Yeah. We're in a studio, guys. We're Let's in a go. studio right now. Yeah. We're, we're just... excellent. Um, we're it's not called renting Discord. It, so we, 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 we own this studio. We built it. The yeah, Discord built... is called Studio. Uh, we, we built it out of out of out of twigs. Our hopes and, and dreams. Um. That everything would be okay. But uh, and and. And obsidian, and um, obsidian, yeah, right, yeah. right. But yeah, so um, oh. E three, uh, Microsoft. This is going to be a very interesting uh, <laughs> press conference for them. Uh, they got they got some work to do. Speaking they have a of that, lot shit. of work so, to do. So now this is this is relative, okay? Because you remember those old mic- <clears throat> those Minecraft days from the Xbox. Mm, how could I forget? Yeah, they were um, fantastic. Okay. So you guys still haven't answered this in years. What? Who the fuck was blocking my door with obsidian, knowing damn well I didn't have a diamond pickaxe or anything? <laughs> I want to say it was Ethan. One... No, it wasn't Ethan. It was one of you two. I... No, man. <laughs> it was no, one of you. Two. I'm not it that was malicious. One... I was living in the mountainside. Was... Look, look, it was one of you two or Matt. I, don't I, think wish, it was I wish it was me. Because I, I had my revenge on Matt that one time where he pissed me off and I logged in, killed him. I remember keep on trying to got, blow up Matt's off. house. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Minecraft days. Got a lot. It might have it might have been Matt. Honestly. I remember us continuously destroying Matt's house. <laughs> <laughs> we should we should revive the Minecraft days. I think we should, honestly. I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm pretty sure everyone else did too, but I don't know. People Minecraft have... on PC is actually stays up to date too. Yeah, so, you it know. does. But the sucky thing is, it's like you know, you you have we have Minecraft <laughs> digitally on Xbox in no way, shape, or form that I can recall they've given any type of like incentive to like download it for like five bucks or just let me download it for free because I bought it on Xbox 360. And then, and then Xbox One. And then, and then Xbox One. I think it was like a five dollar. It was five bucks. Yeah, five bucks to like buy it. I was like, okay, that's cool. And now I'm on PC, and it's like twenty-five. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Mojang Studios will come out with a Minecraft Two this year at E3. Well, it doesn't matter because Microsoft owns uh, them now. <laughs> I know. I don't think there'll ever be a Minecraft Two to be completely honest. Oh, but with speaking you. of my, I was looking. Uh, I was looking up interviews, and it's it's funny because Bethesda has a has an obsession with Notch, and so they Todd Howard interviewed Notch, and it was like <laughs> it was so funny. The, the sweet the Swedish uh, yeah. yeah yeah the creator of Minecraft, and so Todd Howard interviewed him because they they reference like so much Minecraft things in their games. Oh it's, really? It's, That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, huh. That is pretty like, interesting. Yeah, like in. Skyrim, you could get the notch pickaxe if you climb all the way to the top of the throat of the world. Like, yeah, there's this the shit with Parthenax, that's his main story. But if you climb higher to the actual peak, peak top, highest point you can get to in the game, there's a notched pickaxe there. And it's a peck it's a huh. pickaxe that has that has an that has an electricity and mm. magical damage and enchantment on it. That's pretty And it's, funny. it's 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 just funny. It's just cool to have, you know, if you yeah. Hmm. It's hilarious. Yeah. Um But yeah, so but, um yeah. Reportedly, from from one of our sources say, uh, Eurogamer or you know Polygon, whatever. Um, apparently, Microsoft's E three conference is two hours long this year, and it might not even take place at the. Um, it is not taking place at the E three thing. It's taking place at um, the Microsoft a Microsoft theater. something theater. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's actually kind of interesting, and I think it's bigger than the usual venue, if I'm not mistaken. 
They're, they're um, actually Microsoft Theater. Which... If it's their own fucking theater, they could probably use it better as well. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean and, even and, if it's not bigger, it. I mean, like, right. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, that is true. So this, this means games. Holy crap. So um, let's just address. <laughs> it know? means games and showcases. Yeah, right, 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 right. Games and showcases. Which... That's it's a big thing. So a lot of things have which means a lot past. of games. Honestly, then so a lot I mean... of games that have showcased for Microsoft specifically in the past have been <laughs> stuff from. So Bethesda has announced stuff at Microsoft and they show it off in their own conference like the day after. Right. Um, they've done that. Um, and then we also have Ubisoft does that sometimes. Basically, a lot of people will use both of the two main parties, uh, Microsoft and Sony, to announce their game. And then when it comes to their actual uh, screening of the actual event, they'll go more in detail of it. Hmm. Um, so because it's at their own theater, so I'm thinking of like which studios have been really friendly towards Microsoft. So Bethesda has been extremely friendly towards Microsoft. Very, yeah. very friendly. Like, that, honestly, they're like buddies. That, that, uh, so in... According to a lot of the uh, rumors and speculation, which we'll get into um, a little bit more in the video after this one, uh, which is about the third party um, uh, screen yeah. of the yeah yeah the third party conferences, um, we're gonna get into that uh, a little bit more later. Hard but hard, I mean, hard, a lot hard. of this a lot of this stuff has to do with like the main um, companies um, because that's where this stuff is announced. So like. Last year, a whole bunch of new shit was announced at Microsoft's conference. Um, yeah, and so, a whole bunch <laughs> yeah, of new last stuff year they... it, it was it was very um, consumer friendly. Honestly, yeah. they, they've always um, Microsoft's very very pro consumer lately, which and so I think is a great thing. Yeah, we we have our list here. So do yeah, we have yeah, a list we, yeah we have our little our little outline yeah, in front have, of us. Uh, we have the next announcements. List? Um, have, so let, let's um, just talk about. Uh, their ip problem like do you guys think that we can expect a lot of new first party ips to appear at this year's e3 or do you guys think it's just gonna be like uh well there was a halo 6 there's there's a big halo 6 thing that the thing of with uh master chief wearing 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 the cloak that was a teaser giant teaser like this year or no no that was was, how long ago was that that was that was halo 4 are you sure I'm pretty uh, sure. Or was it Halo 5? Mm, no, no, that was Halo no. 4. Halo, Halo 5 was a Master Chief. Yeah, you're right. I okay, mean, um, kind of, sort of. Yeah, the whole John Locke thing, hunting down Master Chief, because they made it seem, the whole marketing thing was like crazy, because they made it seem that like Master Chief was like this vigilante or this guy on the run and he did something wrong. And like, it, it it wasn't that at all. If 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 you played the game, you you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, yeah, it was just like you, you advertised it one way, and it went a totally different way when I played the story. And the story wasn't honestly that long either. It was just it was so so. The multiplayer for Halo Five was fantastic. And I so loved it. these and so in terms of uh. Or were you talking about like exclusive games or just bringing back their their IPs? Yeah, like so, do, do you think they're going to be they, bringing like new IPs to the table? Do you think they're just going to be bringing back some oldies? I um, mean, I think they're going to be bringing. Um, I don't know necessarily about. I don't know necessarily about new IPs being brought to the table, but uh, yeah, we all know super lucky a, uh, <laughs> a uh, reboot of old IPs. Uh, yes, seems to work. So yes, I feel like yes, I feel like yes. they can take let's take Sony's God of War. Mm. Um, they're gonna need to compete with it with the so the two biggest titles for each like platform respectively has always been halo for the xbox and god of war for the playstation right that's like the big things for each of them but but what but there is i mean but but, wait 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 wait. But those are but those are two different games attacked. I know, I know, I know. I, I just so I just I want to talk Fable about 4, it. <laughs> Fable Four could could attract Fable a lot of attention. Because that ooh. that would line up more. That would line up more. They need a good RPG, it. Jared, and you know they do. It's they do need a good RPG. So, <clears throat> we're reading through Eurogamer report. It's just oh, it's beautiful. It, there's there's a lot of news and rumors around this. Um, the most recent sign that we'll see a Fable 4 announcement has come from a Eurogamer report um, back in January of this year. And according to sources, uh, they are uh, pretty much... Uh, it's oh my, there's, there's supposed to be a high-budget new Fable game in the works. 
coming from uh, the UK developers of Playground Games. Mm-hmm. So if that comes to E3, I will probably scream like a little girl. Honestly, I'm I'm, I'm going to be so excited if this is actually true. Like it just it, it needs to happen. Like I'm praying that it does. I'm hoping that it does. I know I shouldn't get my hopes up too high, but no, I hope it happens as well because uh, quite honestly, Fable Three was a big disappointment in terms of the overall arcing themes compared to the uh, the two fables that predated yeah, it. Yeah, Fable 3 was a bit of a um, flop. I still enjoyed it for what it yeah, was. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it, but honestly, Fable 2 was excellent. Like, it was a perfect game for that time period. Fable 3 was not a perfect time period for when it was released. It was not. Not at it was all. Not a perfect game. Not at um, all. I mean, I wonder, like, if, if this does and, come to true, like, what... And if a Fable 4 does come to pass, do you, like, I don't think they're gonna, um... I don't think they're gonna continue off the story of Fable 3. I feel like they might make it take place in between Fable 1 and Fable 2 because of the, the like, Yeah, there's, like, a 500-year year jump, dude. It's insane. Yeah. Or it might even be before Fable, Fable 1. Fable 1. Which would be kind of cool um, because that opens up the doors for like more mythical creatures, you know, like dragons and whatnot. Um, yeah. Just in general and kind of like how the guild became to be and, you know, what was it like during the times before, you know, the guild was established. Like when heroes, like what, what, what did they do? Did they have a different kind of order going on or were they kind of just like their own rogue, you know, superhuman, whatever. But... I don't know. I'm just please playground games. I'm just I'm, I'm really excited for this game. So I'm, then, I'm just I'm hoping that it. I mean, because Fable they had <laughs> the two games after Fable three with with the uh, the Fable Legends. It was like, eh, and eh. so now other than Fable, we also have other like major things that are speculated to be at E3. Oh, I'm yeah, not really certain lot. if they've been confirmed or not, but the big ones are Crackdown. Which we already know, you know, they showcased that they tease it and everything. Um, so another crackdown game, and then Ori and the Will of Wisps, Ooh, another Ori. Forza game, in Gears of War Five, um, and Halo. There actually is big yeah. speculation of Halo supposed and to be Halo. Um, but so... for Crackdown, um, I actually got worried a few days ago, and Devin actually called this um, hmm. that the the Amazon the Amazon canceled all the pre orders. Yeah, for, yeah. Uh, Crackdown three, but then. I think a few days later, Microsoft said that was a mistake on Amazon's part. So we really got to wait and see for E3 to see like what's going on with this game. That is true. Yeah, because we because I mean, they pushed it back once. You think they're gonna push it back again? I just hope it gets released. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, at this point, it just needs. But, to. but like we were talking about in the last video, we hope it doesn't get released too late because as yeah. I, I, I don't. Here, I, I think I think it's either games. gonna be like a sink or swim thing. Yeah, when games are pushed back too frequently, it becomes obsolete and it won't do anything for consumers. Because consumers will forget about it. So that's true. Um, but um, yeah. So I, I don't know. Let, Gears, what, what's Gears of War Five. I'm not really big into Gears of War. I know like um, you two are more so into that. It's fun. Um, I don't. I don't like it. Too, with but, your buddies, like, man. No, I just don't like it. It's clunky to me. It's too Very skilled. It's too skilled for you. Wow. Oh, okay. too <laughs> skilled. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, like, is is there any um like what uh what would you guys like to see at E three? Like, David, what like any new games or sequels to any of your favorite games? I just think, as far as us, we're all we're all on PC currently, so. If you're if you're a PC player, you should really watch the Microsoft one just because every exclusive that, that they show, you will be able to play as well. Which so is it's like fantastic. They're not selfish. Awesome. Oh, bitches like Sony. Oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. <That's, laughs> Devin doesn't uh, like Sony all that uh, much. Okay. Uh, so let's, um, Borderlands Three. Yes. That oh, that yes. will make us very excited if we see anything about if it. If we see I anything will. at all. Okay, Ooh. now also people who are getting hyped. Okay, um, there's certain games that will not be shown, uh, like a Dragon Age Four. I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, all right. We get, we got the, we got, we got that, uh, Mister, Mister, Mister Incredible me- meme. I don't yeah. know. Maybe, 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 maybe we could share it in the video. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it. Yeah. Up. <laughs> it's like, so I, I have done like, some like, research on um on Borderlands like, Three. 
Oh, you have. Well, j- I have. Do tell. Do what tell. You, what do you so, come up so with? Some people have been been kind of worrying just because there haven't been like any like announcements or any like little sneak peeks or anything. Mm-hmm. But apparently, the the um the CEO of Gearbox has said that they're not going to announce or show anything until the game is completely done. Thank so, you, God. So when they do announce it, it'll be like it'll be it'll soon. be ready to go and, and hopefully coming out. That is soon true. after because hmm. he because he he thinks in in the video game industry. You can't wait like a year after you announce a game anymore. Like, that's a thing in the past. He thinks you yeah. have to announce it and then have it ready like soon. Yeah, right. honestly, yeah. I believe yeah. Bethesda so was going yeah, to be yeah, the same yeah, thing. yeah. But Bethesda is the one who started doing that, and then other people who have learned from Bethesda with that are like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just Bethesda. Bethesda does that. So usually when Bethesda announces a game when they tease something, it means it's coming out very soon. Whenever they do something like that, that's just what society is right now. So, yeah. everything so there's, now. So there's Fallout I don't 76. hardly agree though. So but... this Fallout, Fallout 76 is coming soon, probably during this fiscal year. <laughs> Soldier 76. Um, yeah, Soldier 76. <laughs> the story of Soldier um, 76. From Fallout. Hunt, Fallout Vault Hunter and Soldier 76. Vault Hunter Soldier 76. What's his actual name? Uh, Commander Morris. I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah, more, more Morris. Uh, Something Morris. Uh, vault of uh, of uh, Vault Dweller Morris. I don't know. And vault 76. Uh, but yeah, yeah no, it's vault. I don't know because uh, I was I I do hold, <clears throat> I, I agree with Devin when it comes to you know you can't like you, like if, if you're announcing a game it needs to be ready to go by the end of that year. Cause like yeah. there, there's just no point. Like I mean, yeah. me and um, Jared were talking about this in the <laughs> Sony uh, pre-discussion video that you know, like with with like the Last Guardian, like they waited so long and the game did finally come out, but like the when hype, it had, out, the hype like, had been over the hype, and it was just... over again. The game basically flopped. And um, the, yeah, the, the game looked so outdated that it was just like, come on. They man. released a PS3 game on a PS4. So like, okay. yeah, so it's like, yeah. what do you expect? And it's not so like, so I just hope. I just hope with Crackdown, they don't push it back. I hope, like, games need to stop pushing games back. So they need to stop pushing games back, but they need to understand that when they announce it, they have to be nearly done or finished. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, it. Nothing like, wrong with necessarily pushing a game back if you're perfecting yeah. it, but just don't announce it super early. Just to yeah, announce like, it. Like right, if you're just to get, like, the it, hype and, like, yeah, get like, all that Like, extra like don't announce the game when you're halfway done with it. Like, don't do that. Like, don't don't even tease it when you're halfway. Like, sure, maybe you can confirm that's coming out when you're halfway done with it, but don't don't show anything. Don't tease it. Don't make a trailer. Don't do anything. It could only hurt you in the end. Like if something <laughs> right. goes wrong, you're screwed. If you already showed stuff or promised stuff. Um, exactly, because it's just like I don't know. It's so like I and I was talking about this a little. I think I talked about this a little bit than the Nintendo pre discussion that we did. Uh, click the card above for that. Um, <laughs> uh, it was more of these like developers need to learn how to communicate better to their audience. And like, I mean, I understand sometimes, you know, there there are un- unforeseen changes and things like that. But if like, if you're pushing a game back and back and back and back, or if like you're not hearing anything about it, there the, the developers aren't, you know, uh, pretty much giving you milestones of what the game, like where where the uh, game stages are and how far it is in production. Like, we will be releasing, you know, within the coming year. Like, th- there's just a lot of no one says anything. They're like, oh, we're keeping players in the dark, like, you know, for, like, the good of their, you know, whatever, or just for, like, the good of the company. It's like, well, no, like, pe- people need to know. Like, you saw, like, we all saw how the original Xbox One ha- was, like, w- when it when it was announced and, like, uh, Don Matrick and I forgot the other guy's name, when, when they were, like, "Quote unquote," communicating like to the public, like they were terrible at doing that. Like they they didn't give anyone a straight answer for anything. And it's like people just want to know, you know, is it X is Xbox gonna you know, be always online or you know the DRN situation? Like yes, you know, they're like, well, it's a little bit more complication than that, complicated than that. When it's not, it's just 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 let people know, give people a milestone update so that we know when to expect, and so people aren't you know, assuming about rumors and stuff like that and getting mad about something that might not even be true and, you know, making your company look bad or, I don't know. It's just, just companies need to learn how to communicate a little bit better. Mm. I don't know. That, that, that's just me. And speaking of companies communicating better, uh, can we talk about this Walmart leak? <sighs> and how it seems, it seems totally they're right so far. 
they're kind of right so far but like any like it's like okay there's things that are right in it and then there's what is actually in it if you look at it it's like they're just building off of rumors and speculation it's not an actual confirmed piece of shit because the the reason i'm saying this is because if you if you look at it this stuff does not add up whatsoever they've they've shit that's made by ubisoft and they say <laughs> that it's published by ea <laughs> they have Forza like, no, Horizon 5 on there when 4 happen. hasn't even come out. They were right about, right about Rage 2, though. So I will give them that. I, I mean, yeah, but okay. So it's, uh, it's, hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, I, Rage 2, like, like, no, nobody asked for this. Why? Well, Rage, okay. Yeah. I mean, we're not saying it's bad. It's just like nobody asked, bro. Like, it just looks like every other post. It's like, it, look, just, look, 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 it was it's just like, a random thing, you know? It's like, like it's like somebody it's like somebody bringing you like i don't know, like like uh i don't know it's just a food that's okay but jello like, but white like rice no. but like but like but like you're not gonna say no to right so it's like i yeah i guess like it's like somebody just bringing you jello right you're like okay yeah sure i'll take this but like i didn't i don't really but i really I, want some I, ice cream I, or... like I, I didn't really i didn't really ask for it but like okay <sighs> Yeah, so it's like like Rage Two was like Jello, it's, dude. It, it, it was it was random. It's just it's just it's just given to you, and you're like, I mean, like you're not gonna say no. You're gonna eat it, but you're like, I. Yeah, it's like, like I, I guess like sure, like who who whatever. told you we would want this? I don't. Mm, I mean, I don't know. That was just like it was like a what? Why are they doing this? Um, and that's not Bethesda Game Studios. It's just registered under Sandy Max. So that is that that um, is true. But, I don't know. And, so you... but we'll talk about that in the next video. I'm just going to be third parties. I think in the next video, we're going to focus mainly on, I would say, Bethesda and EA in the next video. And Square. Um, just saying. They don't, they don't but have yeah, mainly Bethesda and EA, pretty yeah, much. Actually. But Bethesda and EA are you're known to have their, the, the as part of E3, be the other big things. Right. Yeah. Now, but this yeah. Walmart leak. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's a there's lot of different was... errors in it. There, there's yeah, too yeah, many yeah. like there's shit that like it's too many errors. So it Lego just DC it, villains. I, I mean, I feel actually, like it, no, I, I think feel that like was it was confirmed. I feel like it was just a person who like knew a lot and was able to speculate very well. But I don't think it's. I think it's just a speculation thing. I don't I mean, think it's it, it has to be real because they announced 2K19 and no one saw that coming. Like, that is that's true. Out of nowhere, right? Hey, that's... we saw. They release a 2K <laughs> game every year. That's why I'm joking, bro. <laughs> He's joking, my guy. He's joking. Uh, but no, um, so uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the whole Walmart thing is a little weird. Um, but like, if Halo Six was on there, I'd be like, <sighs> and it's like, but yeah, it's like, yeah, look, look, they put Borderlands Three. They put Borderlands Three. Well, yeah, we know Borderlands Three is gonna come out ever since Borderlands. Fucking and like Gearbox season. already confirmed that, oh, and yeah, it's like at the very end like, of Borderlands Two, of like, it shows like you. Borderlands Two. Yeah, and at, and at yeah, and at the very end of the pre sequel, it it's like it it shows you. It's like it's like yeah, that's that's yes, we already know this, but um, reportedly yeah. um the. Borderlands game that they're supposed to be coming out with this is also always obviously excuse me just a rumor is a, uh, <laughs> a, a remaster of Borderlands One. I don't believe I'm not buying no that. No one wants I don't, that. I don't. I'm not buying that Gearbox. You, see, you know what though? I feel like Gearbox. Since Gearbox likes fucking with people, they probably were like, "Oh yeah, it's just a remaster." No, I dude, think. I think that's true. And also, I, um, I wanted to know. touch base. Really quick, I just want to reverse well, with with the whole Fable thing. So even if it isn't Fable Four, yeah, um, this October marks the ten year anniversary for Fable Two. So oh, it, it could, could be either be like a re. I'm, I'm I'm assuming it's going to be a. Re or, it could or be a remake. Be a, or would it be a? I don't like think a, it'd be a remaster. Or would it be like a collection, like a Fable collection? Like See, Fable, I would like that as well. Like they put all Fable 1 in there, Fable 2, and Fable 3, and they're all remastered mm. as well. Yeah. The Master Fable Collection. Yeah. yeah, or a remade Fable Collection. Or like they call it like Fable, the Heroes Collection or something like that. True, like, but that in retrospect, we all just want to forget about Fable 3 and move on to 4, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or at um, least have Fable 2 okay. on PC, now, the, the Microsoft! Cool, the thing I want to play Fable cool. 2! The thing that was cool about Fable Three, though, was how the swords would change. So you know, it's it's what what are you doing, Devin? Don't do this. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> it, it was, yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, yeah. So your, your weapons would evolve based on how you use them in Fable Three, and that's what I liked about it. With between the hammer, the rifle, know. the handgun. It was like weird that. though because you know in Fable One, and Fable Two, your body would evolve with the decisions you yeah. made, and they're like, it they're like, okay. sort of evolves, and they're like, but you get like, like those avatar like, prints, yeah, you know? yeah, and they're like, and they're like, with okay, the yeah, we're just. We're just gonna scrap that and put it on the swords. Fable three. What do you mean? Why don't I you like the physical and appearance a little bit. I like better. the physical. What in Fable three? Or no, Fable no, two? no, no. In two. In, Fable in two had ten. the best. Had the best one. Because... Yeah, you can get STDs too, my guy. Like it, it was. It was some nasty business. Oh yeah. Very nasty game. Very very nasty game. I yes. actually. <laughs> I was talking to Jerry about this earlier. I, back when Fable two came out, I um. Or was it? It was Fable Three. So Fable Three, you guys did that. You got married to Dakota. Or oh something. no, no, no! This is this is a different uh, story. So uh, when when uh, I was working at Walmart, I was I was 16 years old, and um, I already had Fable Two. It already came out. I was playing the crap out of it, and um, it was just so I I went to buy the strategy guide. And I was like, okay, right. you know, because I wanted to know everything where everything was in this game, and I wanted to complete one hundred percent. And so they had an index of STDs, didn't they? No, but so right. I, I I went to go <laughs> <laughs> I went to go pick up the the uh, strategy guide. Walked over mm -hmm. to I just got off work like maybe like an hour after or whatever. I walked up to the cashier, and I'm like, hey, you know, like I'd like to buy this, and the cashier wouldn't sell it to me because it was for a rated M game. It was like, like when I, it's like when I tried to buy a cure to Call of Duty and they're like, oh my gosh, that, that was so weird. funny. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I was, I'll get back to Devin's story in a second. But <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so frustrated. I'm like, I already have the game at home, ma'am. She's like, it's for a rated M game. I'm like, it's a book. It's a book with <laughs> pictures in it. Like, oh my, I was so frustrated. I took it and I just went to my buddy's line and he let me buy it and I was on my way. But it, it was it just frustrated me so much because I'm like I came all the way up here, like because I worked earlier that day. Yeah. I came back and I got a little bit of a discount on it, which was kind of nice. And they're like, "Oh, you can't buy this strategy guide because it's for a radio game." But whatever, it's fucking stupid. But mm. back to Devin's story. Right before Modern Warfare Two came out, we both went we pre we pre ordered our um our copies. Devin paid in full. <laughs> And we went back up there to pick up our copies, like release launch day. And GameStop wouldn't let him pick up his copy unless his parents were there. And he's like, so you let me pre-order a game and pay it off, but I can't pick it up without my parents' permission? So we... <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. It was, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> we sat up there. Devin had to like, there's all these people around us and Devin had to call his mom. He's like, um, can you come up to the GameStop? <laughs> I need permission to pick up my game. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. Like, like, like can I just put her on speaker and be like, she'd be like, yeah, he can have it. Like, it just didn't make any sense that. to me. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Like, wow. But yeah, but yeah. Wait, um, wait, wait to go, GameStop. But yeah, side note, I have. I think I'm gonna throw out a bold prediction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Let, let's let, let, let's hear it. So I think uh, I have no I have nothing to back this. This is based off of nothing. But it, it's, it's all right. It, it's okay. In my in my soul, I can feel it. It's prediction time. Let's go. Borderlands Three. Uh huh. Will release uh -huh. September of this year. Ooh. That's my bold Shocking. prediction. Shocking. Shocking. Yeah, because I know the latter half of this year. I mean, it's it's already it's filling. This doesn't this doesn't Red Dead come out in November? I believe so. In or October, October maybe. I think. But either way, they're gonna want to release it so it doesn't compete with all those other games that are coming out in November and October and stuff. So September is like the a nice month to. Do to release you it remember? <laughs> Sorry, I just really love that song. But yeah, I I think that's a pretty. I mean, it's a very bold statement because you know obviously we haven't heard too much about. Um, Borderlands Three, but I I think there's a pretty I I think there's a very solid prediction, honestly. To be completely honest, um, I would say one of my predictions, um, since we're just you know going around here, uh, I would say it's it's not okay. There, there's two that I have. The first one, 
Um, I uh, got from an idea. I was watching the IGN E3 podcast, and <clears throat> one of them were uh, mentioning it. It was a Kingdom Hearts, uh, releasing the Kingdom Hearts uh, remix versions of the game that came out for PS3 and, and now for PS4 onto the Xbox because with Kingdom Hearts 3, it's supposed to be coming out this year for Xbox and PlayStation. And um, I forgot her name, but she was talking about it um, on the IGN podcast. She was like, you know, there's there's no better way than to, you know, spend the summer, you know, playing these games that were, you know, ported over and like they, they, they run at 60 FPS, like they're, they're great ports to get, you know, Xbox players ready for Kingdom Hearts 3. So I thought I thought that was a pretty good prediction. So I'm going to make that one of my predictions. Cool. Yeah, it would. Another cool prediction for that would be, you know, tacking on the PC. Come on, Xbox. I know you're listening. Just tacking on the PC. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. And another one of mine is, I would say, um, I'm not sure if this is a thing or not technically, but Game Pass for PC technically mm. you see what i mean like when it comes to maybe just like their well, first party I mean, exclusives so i think the problem would be is that they would already be competing with um another company they would be competing with ea because ea has that yeah, but with, ea sucks yeah but ea has that with their origin access and origin access gives you access to not only ea games but every game that's available on origin access so mm. it's I, yeah it's, it's um Maybe I don't know. It's it's it's, it's I, just. I, it's, really, it's just I mean, nice I mean, they, I don't know. They, they can still do it with games like Origin Access doesn't cover, but I mean, as far as Origin Access covering them, um, I, I see them doing it for those specific games. They could do it for everything else, but those specific games probably not. So they would probably not include EA titles, um, on there. Uh, they also probably would not include Ubisoft titles. On well, there. no, yeah, but I'm saying for Game Pass, I'm saying. For PC for Game Pass, I'm talking about I know. Xbox exclusives only. Uh, Xbox exclusives only. Or, or excuse okay. me, Microsoft exclusives. For like mm. like like a Microsoft exclusive Game Pass. I'm mm. not saying, you know, with all the other games that are available on the actual Xbox Game Pass. Because the reason why I say this might already be a thing is because if you think about it, if you're if you have Game Pass on Xbox and you already have the access to all of the exclusives digitally, does that mean you technically get to play them on your PC as well? I'm not entirely sure, but that's just a thought that's been running through my mind. If anyone else out there knows, please let us know in the comments below. But yeah, that's just one of my predictions. So Jared, it's 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 your turn. Predictions. Or just, just mm. you know, just... I mean, it's just no, 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 no. For Microsoft things, I mean, yeah, you, know. Yeah, you know. Okay, well, yeah. well, well, let's. Um, <laughs> I don't really know. I see. Like I said in the last podcast, I've, I've not really, I wasn't, wasn't really that big on Microsoft exclusive. I um, mean, it doesn't even have to be exclusive. Games. It could be anything like game related or just. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Like so, platform um, announcements when it comes to like just crap, dude, just anything. I don't so, know. Well, there's shit that says. Uh, Bringing back the Netflix uh, theater. Amazon says Microsoft <laughs> is, is trying to work with Amazon to have Echo devices so the FBI can listen to your Xbox too. Oh, the um, FBI. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I, think I hate gonna, that FBI. I think they're going to release an Xbox Battle Royale edition. Um, <laughs> you mean like a Super Smash version? Sure. <laughs> with, <laughs> what are they going to have? <laughs> like... You have they, Master they, Chief. They, you're gonna have. You have John Wick and Thanos. John Wick and Thanos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are too much. I don't know. There, there's there's just a lot of things I would like to see coming out of Microsoft. Are um, there any backwards compatible compatible games you want to see? Like what? I feel like there's nothing left. They got like. Backwards compatible. I, I don't. Know. I mean, well, you know, we could still look up like what the people are still voting yeah. on. One of mine already there. came true, which was uh, uh, <laughs> Kotor One and Two. Becoming. I want a Dragon Age. I wanted Dragon Age 2 to be backwards compatible, and they finally did it. Yeah. Um. Okay, so... And then they also other... finally did Assassin's Creed 3 after, like, f fucking years. Um, I but... would say there's still no Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I don't believe. Is there? Uh, yeah, because they're, they're not going to be, because they're trying to make the remastered, and they just want to get money from it. Rumored yeah, to be yeah, packaged yeah. with Call of Duty 4. Hopefully there's going to be Stay multiplayer Stay tuned for our third-party pre-discussion. Um... There's going to be multiplayer in it, bro. 
Um, uh, yeah. Um, I, oh my, there's just so many games. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, here's another thing what? that I want them to bring to PC or just, okay. yeah. So they need, for the love of God, this needs to happen. I know, like, it was, it sold really well and it's okay. The Master Chief freaking collection on yes. PC. Please, yes. please, Phil. I know you're listening. You probably but aren't. They? But just bring it to PC. Or what if all of the fix the problems that are already on, on Xbox One. Because it's, I mean, like, if, if you brought those two communities together, can you imagine how much fun everybody would have? Like, I can imagine all the fun, and I can imagine all the racial slurs that that that, that the thirteen year olds are going to be. Yeah, but me. okay. Number um, one, that that happens in any <laughs> that that's bro, the that, internet in general. You, you a, put no, someone. That is, a, <laughs> hey, hey, that is listen. Playing on both consoles, that is a that is a mark Councils. of Microsoft. It really is. That is the thirteen that is year old boys that is an that are Xbox tough. problem. I swear to God, it they, needs that, to be monitored. It, People aren't calling you racial slurs on PS on PlayStation. Well, you played you played. That's because no one plays on PlayStation PS. Online. They're all Didn't too busy play playing the single player games. Yes, they do. I'm, dude, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Mm. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean, oh, PlayStation? <laughs> okay, Jared, do you remember PlayStation what? Home? Do, do you remember PlayStation Home? Play, PlayStation Home is always bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, when you compare it. To Microsoft, it is. No, bad. I'm not even comparing. I'm saying that like, thing was terrible. It, it's, but it's, no, um, can't see yeah. any, It's it's not all right there for you to see. I was so excited. You... I didn't know what that thing was, <laughs> and then me and my cousin downloaded it at the same time, and I'm like, "What the hell is this? <laughs> like, what did I wait to download this for?" It's a disappointment. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting off topic, but <laughs> it was a disappointment. But um, oh. yeah. So, Master Chief Collection, PC, make it happen, oh. please. Because that would be fantastic. Now um, the problem with that is they would have to already reintegrate the Halos that weren't on PC for the PC. Um, whereas for the Xbox, you know, it's similar. So hardware. all of them besides one and two. Yep. Two. Wait. Yep. Two, two, yeah. Two, two be, was on PC. It would, it would be hella work. It would more be. Work. But they can do it because they're Microsoft. They have I the mean, technology. I, I don't know. They have. They have the technology. Have we the can't technology. rebuild him. I mean, they're able to make backwards compatibility work, so I think they can do anything. Oh, for sure. And, you know, like emulating. But um, back to what Devin was talking about, if, if there's any other backwards compatible games. I Honestly, just, uh, besides yeah. Call of Duty, oh, I'm trying to think. I think all the ones that I pretty much played have already been put through backwards compatibility. I know Fable is on there, Fable 2. Honestly, look, I feel like the games that I, uh, I feel like the games that were made by companies that no longer exist should just automatically be put on backwards compatibility. They because should, but they have to get permission. But they can't get permission because the companies don't exist. So you just gotta you just do it. The company doesn't exist anymore. They're dead. Well, so Kingdom of Emblem like, Reckoning the on backwards compatibility. Ba backwards is is or any original Xbox games because I mm, I don't besides, know. Besides, okay, Jade Empire is I'm pretty sure. Contra mm. one and two, yeah. Dragon Age two no. is 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 the Listen, first bro, Dragon I just, Age. Um, I just want Web of I just want Web of Shadows to be backwards. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's another. Okay, this oh, th th this isn't really a Microsoft thing. I, let's just talk about Web of Shadows really quick. This isn't <laughs> everything. This is this it's... regards all parties, the whole planet. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, like I, I don't know if that game is backwards compatible yet, but. That yes, that would be a game that we would all love to see. I I wholeheartedly agree. If I, if some studio can revive it, just do it. Or please. you know, just because put Spider Man. Currently, on. if I want to fucking play Web of Shadows on my PC, I have to pay one hundred twenty nine dollars on Amazon. Or you can, no. you know, do. The, I'm not I'm not illegally downloading the naughty that thing. Shit. We do we do not support illegal downloading. No, on this we shit. don't. We don't. Wow. It's terrible. It's bad for um, business. It's, it, you have to ask your parents first. You have to be 18 or older. And, if you're in Europe, you can do it, but not in America. Um, yeah, we're from America over here. Um, North America. Uh, Just let you guys mm, know. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you want to give them the IP address too? <laughs> that's 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 go, that's going that's, overboard. Uh, eight six seven five three zero nine two. Jared's social security number is seventeen thirty eight. <laughs> 
But now, um, <clears throat> Matt actually just texted me. He said he'll be on here in a little bit. So our newer uh, ask uh, book boy, who he's, he's, uh... he's, he's been on for a while. He should be appearing here in a little bit. But um, mm. I wanted to kind of go over. Um, <coughs> I, I already kind of covered this in the um, Sony pre-discussion, but yeah. Because Jared was talking about, you know, how he, he, you know, he floats more towards Sony because of their single player experience. And not more towards Sony. It's, I mean, Boy. it's, no, it's, it's literally, <laughs> I, no, I float towards more X, towards Xbox because of the hardware. Oh, that's right. That's the hardware right. I'm sorry. is better. No, I said, I said the only reason I have my PlayStation 4 is to play Sony exclusives. That's all it's for. If I, mean, I want to buy a game gonna, for a console, I'm gonna get Switch like, for <laughs> Nintendo. Like for instances. instance, like there's some stuff that my computer just can't run. Well, it can run, but I I can tell there's a noticeable difference. Like right. it's, it's it'll it'll run very strangely. Yeah. Like it'll run smooth, right? But then I won't be able to see far distances. And then if I do turn on the thing that makes it able so I can see foliage from far distances, um, like it then the game like is uh, is lagging everything. It's just not worth it. So that is I true. still have my Xbox One to play like fairly current gen games. Yeah. Uh, because my, my laptop is only so good. It's not like it's not an actual gaming gaming computer. I can play most games that were made up to like I'd say like about 2014 perfectly fine. Stuff 2015, 2014 after that, it depends. Uh, if it had a counterpart on the last generation, probably it's okay. Like I could play Inquisition. I could play Inquisition fine. I can't play The Witcher Three fine without lowering certain things. Oi, um, oi, so, Yeah, That's and I can't. Terrible. And I, I I know I can't play Assassin's Creed Origins at all on this computer so i have my xbox one for playing like you know the high-end more high-end games right um no that, yeah that's yeah um, okay yeah that, that actually does make a lot of sense yeah from your i apologize with that he was more yeah what? pro sony but like I, as i was saying yeah. um in um, the pre sony pre-discussion the reason why i like that microsoft so much is because of how pro consumer they are, even yeah. though they are lacking in IPs, yeah. and everyone knows yeah. that we and don't need all these. What I what I said in that pro so in that Sony conversation was I said I said their IPs have always been better in my opinion than Microsoft's. That's just they've also had more, and but that's, yeah, but that's that makes for sense. me now. Now, for instance, for instance, in terms of IPs, so it's been different. So I prefer single player games. So right, in my right. mind, in my mind, the IPs for Sony have always been better than Microsoft. I don't want however, to Microsoft, however, Microsoft has better multiplayer, like shit. That's just oh. that's guaranteed. I believe um, we have a new challenger yeah, on the oh, stage look. in the studio. Oh look, we have Mr. Late Boy, Mr. I'm gonna make plans. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I said 415, and you know what I've. Matt, no, 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 I said, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay, look at the on. chat, look at the, hold, hold on, look, on. If, we, if we look back at the chat first, first you said you're going to see the movie at one, right, which is two my time, I figured, I figured, I figured, okay, I said 145, no, first you said one, then you said 120, I have analyzed this, um, Ooh. Analyzed. Yeah, so, so what, yeah, so what happened was originally, I uh, here, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it later, because we don't need to grill you in the public, um, oh, no. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, so, so okay, um, Matt, Mister, yes. Ma Mister Maddie, over here, um, no relation. Uh, so we we we're pretty much just going back and forth. Um, do, do you have any predictions for what Xbox can bring to the table this E3? For this E3? Yeah. Ooh. Um. Anything you heard? In terms of my in terms of Microsoft, so this this podcast is Microsoft one. I or mean, is there anything a, you have in I general? Think they're in a really hard place right now yeah. because, as of now, there is for their large uh, first-party games. There's been no word of new <clears> gears. <throat> um, the new Halo has been spoken about, but truly, no information has come out about it. Um, so, if they cannot come to this conference with one of their big first-party titles, then I don't know how they will win out against. Like, let's even talk about Nintendo, which, my God, they have a packed lineup coming into it right now. Um, so I think unless they're able to bring not a new Call of Duty or Battlefield um, on their stage, not even new Destiny gameplay, but if they're able to bring a first-party title that has not been talked about, then I think they will be able to be a contender for one of the better conferences during 
or one of the better sessions during this conference. Your voice sounds a lot clearer, Matt. Is 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 that a new? I'm mic? telling you, it's the new mic. Oh, new mic. I see. <laughs> it sounds very very lovely. Um, <laughs> but, um yeah, I because I was actually just getting into this because, um, you know, we we're talking about uh, their situation. And I was gonna say, I mean. I know that like they don't have a lot of IPs and I don't I don't doubt that they will have like a powerhouse IP come um, mm-hmm. this year but they've been so pro consumer lately mm-hmm. that like it, it's it's almost as if like they they're pretty much selling a console with with basically none to next exclusives at least the ones that people care about and mm-hmm. I know a lot of people have gone back and forth saying, oh, well, like, consoles need, need exclusives to survive. I'm like, not really, because look at Microsoft. They've adapted to their situation. They're like, okay, we don't have, you know, it's, we're, we, like, we're in an unfortunate situation. What can we do to please our fans? They, they gave us the Xbox One X, which is a powerhouse of a console, stronger than any console out there. On the market, so the the, the hardware is there. That, that's checked. They have Xbox Play anywhere. You have Xbox Game Pass, and you have backwards compatibility. Like those are so strong and so pro consumer. Them saying, "Hey, you know, like we know we're in a tough position right now, but you know we're gonna give you guys what you deserve because you know you're, you're gaming on our platform. And if you game on our platform, these are the four pillars that we have that will." you know, hopefully they keep you around. And I think they've been doing a great job with it. I mean, I know we all game on PC right now, but even when I had my Xbox, you know, when um, <clears throat> I know Xbox Game Pass wasn't out during that time, but uh, backwards compatibility mm-hmm. was and I, um, Xbox Play Anywhere. And I mean, I, I, I was having a, a grand time. I don't care what anyone says. I love playing old games and new on, on newer consoles and playing, you know, just all of my games on, on one system. So I don't have to mm-hmm. switch between, but yeah, that, that's what I was saying. How I think they're, I think they're in a good spot. Like, but yeah, I mean, like, yes, a new exclusive would be great, but other than that, I think they've been doing really well, and I think they've been setting a new standard for the industry of n- not relying on exclusives to sell a console. Because with Sony, the only thing they have is 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 exclusives, and if you take that away from them, like. <laughs> They don't have any. They're not offering anything else. They don't even have a cross platform platform play for God's yeah. sakes. So it's like you take away Sony's exclusives, they're struggling. I mean, they they did with uh, what was that game? Um, you guys I mean, play all the time. Um, and Nintendo's different because you know they actually have real first party IPs and they build consoles that revolutionize and yeah that and i mean their conference right now as long as it's built off of the tentative schedule that we've seen it's a lot of their first party ip right right so that's why if microsoft and sony especially like when you think about it all right here here, brutal honesty the days of call of duty and battlefield are dying out Um, i agree i think people are getting sick and tired no, I'm not. Look, I'm not trying to bash the games. Right. Personally, I have not played a game or a Call of Duty game since I want to say Black Ops 2, just because I kind of lost touch with the series. Um, I kept up with Battlefield through Battlefield 1, but really haven't played through many of the DLCs. But I can speak for myself. I'm getting bored of the formula that each of the games bring when there is a new iteration of the Battlefield series or the <laughs> Call of Duty series. So like if they were to have some both Microsoft or Sony, if they were to bring either Battlefield or Call of Duty to their conference, I don't think it would like per se push it over the other conferences right. in terms of being a better showing for their platform. <laughs> I think it's just kind of becoming the norm these days. And I feel like I think we're ready to move on. The norm is like very I boring like after studios, a while. I feel like the studios that produce each of these uh, games, so Call of Duty, whoever produced Call of Duty, now it's not Activision anymore, um, and whoever produces Battlefield now, um, I feel like they need to come out with different titles that aren't Battlefield. Yeah, are well, Dice Duty. produces like, Battlefield, I believe. Well, yeah, because quite frankly, Call of Duty and Battlefield are arguably the longest running video games in history. They've been running ever since they were started up, and they've never really like, like stopped or been dead. 
they've just switched hands a couple times, but they've pretty much stuck uh, stuck to like a like a, a yearly pretty, yeah like a copy yearly case. like a like a like a yearly or like up to three year release schedule. Yeah. Um, which is like it's, it's, it's like okay, so like within three years you can expect a new Battlefield <laughs> or Call of Duty, just like guaranteed. But a lot of games, what happens is like games will die and then they get revived later. But they're not gonna. They're like when a game dies, it's gonna be dead for like a while. It's gonna be dead for like ten years before it comes back. Like uh, like, like God Heart. of War, like God of War. Okay, Kingdom Hearts never <laughs> yeah. died. I just want to say that right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a very. It's been thriving ever since. Uh, the PlayStation yeah, but, 2 so I or Kingdom think, Hearts I, 2. We, we've been waiting for this game forever. I think yeah. Call, <laughs> I think Call of Duty and Battlefield just need to fail once really badly. They already did learn. with Infinity War. Well, Call of apparently Duty did. They, par- apparently it didn't. Um, yeah, bro, right. Infinity War? It, yeah. It didn't. <laughs> Infinity War. <laughs> Infinity I mean, I'm sorry. Really? I'm sorry. Infinite War. Really? God, that was such a good movie. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, call it a coming to you to a theater near you. Call of Duty: Infinity War. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I mean, they got they got Thanos in Fortnite, so who oh. fucking knows? Yeah. <laughs> you should have went for that. No, but I mean, like with Call of Duty and Battlefield, it kind of reminds me of the Paranormal Activity series. Yeah, because it you know, started like, off when really it good. Came out, everyone loved it. Everyone was like, "All right, this is a new take." I'm for this. Let's have fun. Paranormal 2 came out. All right. You know, it's still fun. Still scared me at times. Paranormal 3. All right, guys. What are we doing here? Why are we in the theater for a third time? The third Paranormal one, 4. I was like, bro. All right. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's cool that they pump them out every year. But if no, they not. are not, no, it's not Matt. Do not. But if, they, if they're not wait, actually Jared, innovating, like do, do not exact, support that yearly behavior. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. Wait, you guys you remember when Call of Duty goes? Yearly behavior. If you innovate, right? That's true. Well, do you guys remember when I think it was when Call of Duty Ghost came out? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> there was this not? video. They, they, they were like, "Our technology is so advanced." When you swim through the water, <laughs> the, <laughs> the fish move out of your the, way. The fish move out of your way, and then it cuts Mario over to Super Mario 64 <laughs> doing the same damn thing. It's like the AI is so intelligent. Okay. Uh... <laughs> 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 That was oh my gosh! Uh, we we can sit here all day and talk about this crap. Um, we're we're hitting around the fifty two mark right now. Uh, was there anything else anyone else would like to say? I mean, so or did you guys um, want to just keep going for a little bit? Oh, we need to keep going for a little bit. Matt like just got here. Like all right, ago, we're gonna keep so. going. Um, well, I mean, do we still have the other podcast to do? Yeah, yeah, Matt, but we're doing that at six. So we got. Oh, okay. Um, we got about like thirty uh, minutes. Six, six Eastern time, Matt. Um, fuck uh, you. Uh, but no, uh, like, but seriously, um, yeah, um Fable Four needs to come out. I'm, I'm just gonna keep saying it over yeah, and over because so, so we we each did like a, one or two bold predictions for E3. You got any, Matt? Yeah. Uh, yeah for Microsoft E3. Yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> do, do, Honestly, do, Anthem. Do. Ooh, that's not think, a dick. Um, <laughs> The new box art came out, and you can see it on the screen right now. It looks pretty cool. It looks pretty. So like, it's, I it's, it's it's nice. So I think the big thing right now is like, so when they first announced Anthem, what was it last year's E3? Uh, and like it was, uh, yes. I thought, was it Microsoft last year or two years ago? I believe it was last Microsoft year. by EA. <laughs> so it was the whole idea of like that was going to be the Destiny killer. Uh, mm-hmm. That's what people uh, yeah, are saying. Yeah, it's, it was I supposed don't... to rival Destiny because I mean, I so. Gearbox, Borderlands Three hadn't came out. Yeah, well, that it was, was like yeah. its only okay, other but competitor. It's, but it's I don't think it's gonna rival Destiny because first of all, it's Bioware. Bioware's only experience with multiplayer is from Dragon Age Inquisition's uh, multiplayer that was not commercially successful. So I don't really know if it's going to be a Destiny killer. Um, in terms I hope of, well, it is. well, the thing is, in I terms of concern, in terms of, in terms of the state of, that it's term, in right now. In, no one cares about destiny is killing itself i mean well i mean yeah yeah I, it's it's uh, yeah Destiny's so if they can based... give a good showing for anthem that's that's then... is committing seppuku so um it's just <sighs> jesus jared that's what it's doing stabbing itself in the gut and going up to the heart that's what it's doing um uh, <laughs> oh it's it's committing suicide but it's doing it like you know it, it's doing it really hard it's not dying yet so it's got to take its time I, I'm, I'm surprised um, bungie is so still a um, fallout after just everything no i i, I it, hope anthem i, I, I mean I it's it bio now because it's bioware 
they probably know how to do their co-op shit. They know how to make actual like uh party compositions. So good so that's yeah, and good stories. Um mm -hmm. so we probably don't have to worry about that uh whatsoever because if they've been working on this for as long as they say they have, uh it should be good. No. Um because uh they've been working on it since Dragon Age Inquisition was launched. Um and uh dry, uh, no, uh and what was it Mass Effect Andromeda was uh they just released that to stall time because they needed some money. Uh they didn't have to make it, but they chose to make it. Um because they had already told people before that they were done with Mass Effect. Should but you know all these companies I mean What'd you yeah. Say? We should save that for the next podcast. But yeah. we should also, no, yeah, so this I, I agree. so this will yeah this this will lead us into the next and then into the next podcast. Um so Phil Spencer, you're a god. Keep doing what you're doing. Please um, just remember bring that fable back to that pc halo back to that pc for, uh, games 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 no, games games, games, games all right boys i want to see uh halo 3 on switch all right let's do deal, it matt oh I'll, I'll, I'll contact shigeru miyamoto right now see you matt Kill send him. him a send it uh, send a message to his pager oh my god <laughs> to his page <laughs> yes so, message to xbox you got the hardware you got the service now games let's go games Let's get ready for part four. Third part. Yeah, I think that's a good place to uh, stop. Yeah.